So, when you want to do this, it's crisscross applesauce, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> there you go. That's my dance. Y'all are haters. Haters gonna hate. So on page 32, here's your warm up. Four questions again, which is ionic compound, write the name, write the formula, and then which of the following is a covalent. I know we just started that, but you should have at least the intro notes to that. And then nonmetals are covalent compounds. Covalent compounds, nonmetals on one side, nonmetals on the other side. They make the litter. Oh my God, you <laughs> you never mind, never mind. <laughs> Write the formula for dihydrogen monoxide. Ooh, I spilled water on my phone. Uh, <laughs> I just got that. You got it? It's a hydrogen. <laughs> it's H2O. Dihydrogen monoxide is H2O. The last period of the day is getting ready to start. Fourth period, I have the warm up up, ready to go. I actually also have my molecular models for the notes because we're going to take notes over. Covalent compounds, and I'm also showing them how to draw loose dot structures for those of you who are not. Science people, they're just basically showing how um, atoms and a chemical formula um, bond with one another and they share electrons, valence electrons. So with that said, let me... There goes the bell right on time. I'm also pretty excited because I got this little dance that I'm gonna do for them. I just came up with it because some of the students just based off first and second period need maybe a little bit more help with distinguishing between ionic and covalent compounds, and then also writing formulas for ionic compounds. So I have this crisscross applesauce, drop it like it's hot, dance for them. So this O has two, four, six, eight. This C has two, four, six, eight. This O also has two, four, six, eight. So it's late start. I had a late start and apparently so did some of the other teachers because that parking lot is a little bit empty. Um, I just, this time of the year historically, I just have a hard time getting out of bed um, in the fall semester. And it's just always this time of the year. Like I have a hard, I have like two alarms and I always like crawl out of bed, hit snooze and go back to bed. So I'm gonna head out to the late start because, well late start is basically teachers have professional development. We start at eight and students come at 10. So they have a late start, we don't. Late start is over. I went to make some copies for tomorrow. We're doing the learning stations tomorrow and Monday. The bell for six period just rang. I am ready to go. I got my models and the warm up is up. Time to get the show on the road. And also don't forget to, don't forget to crisscross apple sauce, drop it like it's hot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what do you think? Don't forget that. What? I need to go to the crisscross <laughs> <laughs> <The Chris Cross, laughs> applesauce. What is it? Hi, everybody's triggered. Did you see my dance? No. Oh, oh, do it again. Please don't know. Do it oh, again. Do it, do it, do it. Got a crisscross <laughs> applesauce drop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. You will remember that. <laughs> I need everybody to stand up. Oh, <laughs> Do we take our stuff? No, you just stand up. So, for the first and last question, this is going to help you. So we're going to take one hand and we're going to point in this direction. So metals are on one side of the periodic table. Non-metals are on the other side of the periodic table. When they come together, what letter is this? I. An I, so they make an I. So an I stands for what? Ionic. Ionic. So metal and non-metal, they come together. And they make 
side for Ionic. For Covalent, we have non-metals on one side. So take another hand and go this way. Take the other hand, non-metals. Why? What letter is that? <laughs> Okay. Is C and C stands for what? Covalent. Covalent. <laughs> so covalent compounds are non-metals. School is out. I am packing up and I am going to head home. Another Friday. Another week is almost over. We are doing the learning stations today. I need to. Ah, I need to set all these up right now. So let me take care of that. curse being sick over my vacation because I, while I'm set up and I have enough for all the students to do things for the equivalent bonding learning stations, I normally make eight of each set so that way I can have um, four stations that students can go to so at any given time um, there are eight students at a particular station. So for example like the organization station and that's the other thing. I made copies of the station signs and then for some reason, oh, I was taking something out of my bag and I took them out of my bag and I left them on my couch. So then when I was putting all my stuff back together to get ready to leave this morning, I left the signs on my couch. So, but luckily I had a spare copy um, that I put in my Dropbox account. So I was able to print here at the school. But other than that, it's gonna be a good Friday because I'm feeling good, I'm not nervous, I'm not anxious or anything like that. School's gonna get ready to start in two minutes. So it's time to get the show on the road. Uh, number three. <laughs> Number four. Got 13 seconds and time is up. <laughs> and then the last one, aluminum sulfide. I didn't do the dance for you, did I? Did I do it? Uh, if you said that I did it, then no. Is water wet? That's the question of the day. getting ready to run down to the library to take a whole bunch of these Saturday school slips to the Saturday school crate because this is the Saturday that students are making up for incomplete or missing assignments from three weeks ago. Some students took care of that three weeks ago and some students did not, so they got the official pink slip. And that is another wrap. It's funny because the students are coordinating when to meet for Saturday school so they can all go together. But that said, I am going to clean everything up and I'm going to head home. If you're interested in checking out some of my other clips, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. If there was anything about this particular video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, or share the video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.